Hi guys, welcome back to Slough Town Vlogs and today I'm going to do the top 5 most clubs that have the brightest future in Great Britain. I hope you really enjoy this video and make sure you like, subscribe and share if you're enjoying what you see on your screen. And we'll start with number 5 with Salford City. Salford City, uh, they're a very nice club, um, obviously David Beckham, Paul Nicky Butt, Gary Neville, Phil Neville, Class 92 have took over the club, pumped loads of money in it, and now in League 2, it's sitting in 10th place, um, and it's a lovely story, they keep me entertained during lockdown, there's a war sprite in front of the camera, um, and yeah, they've got good owners, um, that are willing to pump money in the club to get them to the next level of English football. In number four, I put a club that I hate as a Slough fan, and that is Wickham Wanderers. Um, but there was, I think there's an old rivalry between the two clubs, um, as Wickham used to be in a um, non-league. Um, so there's an old rivalry there. Wickham are sitting eighth in League One. They were actually top of League One, but then obviously they fell back into eighth place. And they're looking to go in the championship, and I reckon they will be there in five, ten years. In number three, I've went for Sheffield United. Um, they're seventh in the Premier League, which is massive. Um, obviously, they went from being in Championship to now Premier League. Their attendances in the 18-19 season in the Championship was 26,000, and now this season. In the Premier League, it's gone to 30,000. So they've attracted 4,000 4, 4, more fans from just by going up to the next level of English football. In number two, I've put Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wolves are a very close team to my heart as my granddad um, supports them. And they sit in sixth place in the Premier League. They've got good players, good owners, uh, a very, very good manager. Good players in such as um, Home Joe Martino, Ruben Neves, I like Connor Cody, what he's done. Um, so yeah, I think Wolves, in the 16-17 season, they had 21,000 fans turning up to their stadium, and now they have 31,000 fans turning up to their games. Um, so that's absolutely amazing for the Wolves. And now the number one spot. Um, and I went for a club that's local to me, and they go by the name of Brentford. Um, they've got a great fan owner that's pumped loads of money into the club, built them a new stadium for next season. They're fourth in the championship. They've got good players. Um, so I think they can be a Premier League club. The Premier League is where that club belongs. So they deserve to be there. Like, it's so hard because... Being Brentford being one of my local clubs because I live in West London, uh, is like, wow. Like, oh, you want all your local clubs, like even if you're their rivals, you want a local derbies and stuff like that. It'll be it'll be so much better if there's more derbies. So you always have a soft spot for your, one of your local clubs, even if they are one of the biggest rivals to you. Well, it depends really. It depends in it. Um, but yeah, that that is my top five. Um, I've hoped you've enjoyed it. There are a few honourable mentions, such as Plymouth Argyle. Um, I think they're going to be doing well. I do really like what Eddie Howe's done to Bournemouth. Um, I think he's a great manager. Uh, but that's in the video there. Um, they were my top five, top um, most aspire like that have the brightest future in the next 10, 15 years. And I've hoped you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Stay home. Stay safe. Protect the NHS. Save lives. And stay alert. Thank you. Goodbye.